this is terrible. They've already got. Oh, this is like on Total Recall when he gets in the taxi, you know, with the like red driver flashing. It's actually quite funny for Cop City as well. I've been looking into this Cop City. I'm actually following it now. They're actually doing the petition as we speak, trying to get signatures for it for a referendum. Um, but I just went on to one of the look at the Atlanta newspaper and they got this. Oh my God! It's like a self-driven car. They call it the autonomous shuttle. Cumberland Hopper getting on that and just automatically being driven round electronically. They even got bollards everywhere. I mean, there's something about life being able to, I don't know, steer something where you want to go, steer yourself. You know, even a horse. I mean, a horse is not you. I mean, it's. It's worse with horses because the horse is living. All those years through history where, you know, you get a creature and you're just like, you know, what right do you have to have a creature under your um, will, you know, um, even if, it's, you know, you look after it or whatever in a field. I don't know. I mean, maybe, you know, what psychologists know about horses now. Not many people have horses in England unless they have got, you know, like in a field or whatever, you know. Um... They don't really seem to migrate around like they used to do. But at the end of the day, you know, back in, you know, like you got on a horse right off to London, whether you like it or not, you know. <laughs> um, I don't really know what the psychology of animals is to that extent, but there's got to be something wrong about that, really. Um, then again, I suppose, you know, you could just go any of your family members, right? You know, we're going here, we're going there, you know. But there's something about the fact that when you actually invent the vehicle, it liberates the horses. There was something about the invention of the motor vehicle, which is not really discussed and talked about at all. I mean, you see all these, you know, pictures of horses and carts and stuff like that, you know, in the, the, the good old days. I like the buildings and the houses. I don't really like all these new buttons and modern buildings and houses. I've never ridden a horse, I'd like to, but there's one thing that no one talks about, this, the liberation of the horse. All those years, I mean, everyone had the horse, because, you know, ev everyone's either riding themselves or having a car. All those horses and, you know, all, all on the streets had to be clean, but the liberation of the horse, I mean, it's not even really been liberated that much, because, you know, nobody even wants to know about horses now. You know, unless they have one in the field, you know, some people who like animals, who love animals, but everyone else, you know, couldn't give a, you know, um, those animals were part of life and they're just gone, like rejected. And, and really, I think that if they get these, you know, robot police and I, I think we're going to be rejected by these oligarchs in the way that the horse was rejected in, in, in the horse, in the way that the horse has been forgotten unless we're set free from the workplace like the horse was but look at the horse now the horse isn't free because he can't run the, you know it's all penned off you know it's penned off in the field and you know um you know it can be taken out and petted or whatever but it's not i mean the horses can't just you know go with whatever horses they want and you know run free and then you know if they want to go up to see neil oliver in scotland you know like a, a sterling shire horse you know the you know oh go up, you know you know good charging up to see neil oliver you know you know hello neil nay nay you know this is what chris packham wants to do you know rewilding um, but no, it's all fenced off in fields, but why? Because of all this corn farming, making bread, which is naff, which we don't even want, the ma major crop, which, you know, we should be growing, you know, fungi in forests and, um, you know, chicken in the woods and giant puffball mushrooms and so forth and the rest of it. Um, not all this fenced off, fenced off, fenced off. I've got this whole military industrial complex, which RFK and Marianne Williamson is speaking up against. Now, the way that Larry Fink and the way that they've all been going, the way that Tony Blair has been playing it, you know, I, I think that it's almost like they're, you know, promising, you know, liberators from the workplace, but it's not going to be this kind of liberty where, 
you can just do what you want, you know, well, within reason. I mean, um, why would you want to blow up the robot factory power plant? You know, the, there's no reason to, you know, unless he won't bother you. But there's this idea that I don't think that, that, you know, everyone's going to be digitally scanned, where you're going, who are you, what's your business, you know, blah, 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 blah. But then they already want to influence over the adverts and so forth. Even if we weren't back paying for the um, goods, isn't it annoying? There's some element of coercion in it. You know, I, I think that with all those 15 minute city plans and all the rest of it, I think they, and you know, this particular Mark Zuckerberg's virtual reality stupid thing, I think that in a way they were got, really the sort of wanting us to be like the, like they've kind of got the horses in the fields now. They're, they're kind of free, but they're not, you know. They're, they're, they're sort of, you know, free to do what they want in the field, but they're not free, you know, they, they, you know well, I, I want to get from, you know, I'm in field number C36A5. I've got a nice little bit of, you know, uh, I'm in my house, you know, it's a nice star, my powerhouse, and I've got my nice virtual reality headset. I can go into the metaverse. Um, I, I might have a nice big garden, but I can't move from blocks, you know, prisoner cell block, field number 3C56795. Can I have, you know, nay, nay, purr, purr. Oh, I'd like to go to Scarborough, please. You have authorization to leave field 639 on the little shuttlecraft B7 via route 6532. Well, I just wanted to go for a wander, see you in the villages, you know, around Shropshire. Maybe I'll go to Shrewsbury. No, you can't go in Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury is in pedestrianised area. You can, you know, uh, whatever, you know. <laughs> um, you know, you know it's, there's something wrong about it all, you know. Um, I think there was something about, you know, even being in the nineteen, you know, seventies or late seventies or eighties or whatever, you know, and you you get in a car with your grandparents, so we're off to the seaside, you know, do 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 go for a drive around the countryside. Where are you going? Just just for I don't know. Nowhere in particular. It's like on you know, it's like on di um on Doctor No, isn't it? You know, or whatever is it, is it Doctor No? Is it, you know, I you know. And, uh, what are you doing here? No, I'm just looking. I'm just looking around, see what there is here. You know, nothing to see here. What what are you up to, Elon? What you're up to in those brain jars with those technical beasts, you know, X, dun, 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 Professor X, I'm making myself into the mastermind alien breed of the planet, you know, nothing to see here, you know, um, <laughs> you know, um, for some people like Biden, I think that's why they're promoting Biden, you know, this is almost like the Biden mobile. I think George Galloway um, should um, publicise this thing as the Biden mobile, you know, for people who can't who can't drive or won't drive. It's like people who can't drive themselves or are not fit or, fit or able. You know, it's like so like this. It's like a Starmer powerhouse disability scooter, isn't it? Um, it's like the Pope mobile. This is like the, the it's like the Biden mobile. Um, you know, but the the problem is they want us all to be as you know in the state of Biden when we're in one of these things, because anyone in the state of Biden would need to be driven around automatically by one of these things. And the way they were planning it, with all you know, they continue to carry on eating food, and everybody sat on those um, you know, they got everyone overweight on those uh, mobility scooters anyway, on those electric mobility scooters. Um, you know, um, it's hardly you know um, self drive. There's something wrong about it. No one should be disabled. People shouldn't be like Biden. Humans should have been getting more and more intelligent with more and more wits about them without the aid of the crutch, the the the, the walking frame, the, the spectacles, you know, and so forth. You know, um, the sharp of mind and virility in the world age. But, you know, p Parliament doesn't want that because then what happens is you end up with more RFKs, you know, more opposition. They, they, they definitely don't want more RFK juniors. You know, they don't want more George Galloways, that's for sure. Sure. They want more Keir Starmer and um, soldiers, you know, come come out of Oxford to join Starmer Army to salute Starmer and treat him with respect. Respect your leader. Respect, you know. Or you'll end up like Jason Williamson, you know, or Corbyn. 
they, they definitely don't want Corbyn's, um, George Galloway's, and they definitely don't want um, RFK Juniors. They want Bi- they want Bidens. <laughs> they they want to breed Bidens, and they want them all in these disability vehicles, like being driven around. And then what they'll do is once they've you know then then they'll end up disappearing, you know, like um, uh, Madeline McCann, you know, that they'll end up. Um, They'll end up like the, you know, like in the t- t- you know, like in Dust Till Dawn, the Titty Twister. <laughs> They'll end up like, this is, well, you know, oh, well, you know, where, where's the vehicle gone? Oh, we don't know, you know, and <laughs> they'll end up like all, all, all like in some massive pile up behind the Titty Twister bar, you know, like all in some big um, pile of um, scrap vehicles, and then, then they'll be all like the big, you know, Sentinel um, fucking Matrix fucking big beasts once you know like collecting the wreckages you know recycling them for scrap or something like sort of like uh, like 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 an um goldfinger you know when he's off to the airport but he ends up in the car crusher so it's like that isn't it I, that, that's what this is this vehicle that's what this cumberland opera is it, it's literally getting like biden it's all like biden oh you're gonna be president hey mr president we're just taking you to see the aliens in the ufo no no so hey Hey, well, you, this is an Area 51. We were supposed to take the left turn there, but just carry on. You know, like, I don't know, we're just going to the, you know, it's <laughs> going to put the fucking um, car crusher or whatever, um, you know, like, <laughs> to like in the, behind the titty twister, like on the car crusher on um, Goldfinger or whatever. <laughs> That, that that that's you know I'm going to tag Galloway in this because we we need to stop this because we're all they're going to have us all you know everyone's going to be end up going senile and they're going to put us in these um, pop mobiles like we're all got a disability or something <laughs> and we'll all end up in the car crusher like in Goldfinger or or behind the Titty Twister Valley at the, in in the um you know in, in the massive pile up a bit behind it or whatever. Um, 